We are here at Hollywood Nights Night 2. <laughs> this crowd. Oh my gosh. They're just waiting to get released for ERT. Dang. Look at all these doozies. <laughs> Alright, so how about that crowd? We are here for the second night of Hollywood Nights. And this thing, I, I can't wait. We got, what, about four hours ahead of us or something like that? Of uh, Voyage, Raven. Legend. Not, not my favorite because I'm not a lateral boy. And uh, what else we got here? We got no Thunderbird. And then uh, Gobbler Getaway, yeah, I guess. Gobbler Getaway, uh, Turkey World. Mm, um, Mayflower. Mayflower too, yep. So they do have some flat rides in there. So they're going to stick all these people somewhere, I guess. Cool thing that I heard that they're doing, they're doing an all-girls train on the first ride of Voyage, which is pretty cool. But I ran into, most importantly, I ran into somebody I haven't run into since, I think, December 2018 at SeaWorld at their holiday event. And that is Mr. Corey Mathery, What's who you can on, find on YouTube, and I'll put his stuff down below. You're from sort of the area, right? So, yeah, I, I live in Louisville. So, so do you have any tips about how to how to go about my evening here? Um, I, I do. I recommend waiting till nighttime to ride the voyage. You got to get night ride on the voyage. That's like the so so it's pitch black basically. I mean, out in the woods. I'm talking about just like black as it can be, because that's right. that's the best time to ride the voyage. It really is. All right, we're finally moving. It's about 20 minutes after ERT should have started, and we're kind of doing this crazy zombie walk. And Corey was saying it reminds him of exiting Fantasmic, which I have to agree. It feels like Disney after the fireworks trying to get to the exit and you can't move. You can only sway. It's awful. All right, it's finally loosened up. I'm going to throw a little combo breaker at you and we're going to head over to Howler so I can claim I've done Howler at night. And that'll be one achievement out of the way. So, uh, Corey, what's the best part of doing Howler at night? It's the best ride in the park. So... I mean, does it get any better than that? I don't know. I know I know that it, it has an amazing launch. It's almost as good as Top Thrill Dragster, if we're being honest with ourselves. Almost. So apparently there's a few people that have the same idea as me. We got a nice contingent here going over there. We're going to do a full train of adults. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Can't believe we're doing this, but... I don't know if you guys saw that crowd that was all going to the voyage and all that, like... I'm going to skip all the stuff that's happened at Voyage because they're going to delay for the uh, couple specialty trains that are happening. So, yeah, but definitely now that it's getting like pitch black, that's when I would really want to do Voyage because it's a whole different experience according to everyone I've talked to today. I am not regretting this decision at all. They're <laughs> coming back around again. bigger than it was during the day when I came on here. <laughs> Roll back on Howler. You all right? I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be good. So isn't that looking real exciting? I mean, there's so many people actually in line. Like, we're about to get on maybe in a train or two. <laughs> But the energy is what I'm really here for. This is amazing. There is a line of people. <laughs> I hope this is the start of an excellent evening. <laughs> Important update here, they have opened the extended queue. The one switchback is here. Now we get a full view of all this ambient lighting. So that was amazing. Energy was more than I could have ever asked for. And now we're gonna follow it up with a firecracker that has ERT because apparently you don't get to see that all lit up that often, right? No, not, not much. You, you don't really get to see Holiday World lit up much at night. It's just... It's I've heard that and it's so strange to me that that's not really a thing because Hallow Swings last night looked really cool all lit up. And I'm excited to see firecracker lit up. Hopefully it's lit up. We'll find out real soon. This lighting package is pretty sweet and it is humid out tonight so I apologize if there's any crazy flare and fogginess on my lens where the firecracker light is and any other lights like that. 
but check out the sound this thing makes. It sounds like the largest train is coming into station. So you might be wondering, now that we've done the greatest ride in the park, where do you go next after that? So, um, where do we go? <laughs> okay, so we're going to the Raven, right? That's the next ride. Okay. We gotta go say hello to, is it Edgar Allan Poe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. There we go. <laughs> So since we saw Firecracker's lighting package, I just want to share with you the Hollow Swings one. It is really awesome. I love what they did with this thing. I haven't seen anything with this kind of lighting on it, but we got to start heading on over to Raven. And you can hear the bells too, uh, the legend going by. So tell me this thing is a walk-on because everybody is over at the voyage. This is awesome. I don't know if you've seen my previous video of the first night of Hollywood Nights, but I really enjoyed this ride, especially knowing that it's been retracked recently. Everyone was going wild for it. <laughs> yep, yeah, this is straight up a walk-on. I can't believe how much space there is in here. <laughs> All right, second to last was our baby, but I think I'm going to do row eight. I, I rode this before this guy. Yeah, after the retrack. After what, the retrack, he got the first <laughs> jump on it. But got to say my piece here, that is it, night and day. I mean, from last you, year. Yeah, literally last year going around the turnaround. Just it's just it's so much smoother. Fantastic job, Holiday World. <laughs> I, I think it's awesome, and I've been tending to go towards the back. I actually want to ride this in the front at one point. Um, where are we headed right now? Do you want to uh, get back on? For one, while the or legend, I think I think Marcus is ready for the legend. Okay. Well, I, I was thinking maybe doing the front while the line is minimal and people have not gotten off the voyage and spread out. Maybe we could do one. I'd really like to do one in the front, basically, and I'll report back to you in a moment. <laughs> Okay, so we got it done. We got the front row of legends. Thankfully, Marcus over here was kind enough to tell me, keep my mouth closed, so I didn't get any extra uh, protein. I didn't end up with a uh, mid-run snack somewhere in there. But it is so crazy how little you can see, especially in the final two drops at the end. It was just pure darkness in there. And you don't feel as much air coming down at the, the last part into the second half that gets you to the break run but it's just abrupt and all of a sudden you're there and it's happening and ain't nothing you can do about it it was amazing glad i did it raven has stolen my heart here and that's before heading over to voyage and getting that night ride so we have a lot more to look forward to here all right we're heading down the hill here over to legend now the lateral machine itself probably the second most in this park after howler we're gonna get on this one. Is this gonna be a one and done and then voyage? One and done? On what? This, this boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Doing <laughs> yeah, this? yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. This voyage. All right. That's the plan. Let's do it. Okay, wow. Um, legend? At night, it's intense as heck. I really do like the double helix, so the rest of it I could do without, um, except for that pop at the air at the very end. Now, uh, Corey was telling me that recently it had done, they had invested like almost $2 million into track work for it, and that it used to be rougher. I can't imagine it being any rougher. You have to get through a lot to get to those good elements, in my opinion, but again, not a big laterals guy. They loved it. We're here now in front of the voyage and the line looks ridiculous. There's tons of people here behind me. Lots, lots of waiting ahead of me, I think. Unless I can convince everybody to go on the gobbler getaway. I don't know. But no, seriously, look at this line here. And it just goes on and on and on. That's gotta be an hour easy, hour and a half maybe. People are not joking when they say that the Voyage is a popular ride. This thing 
and oh my gosh, I'm gonna get in line. We're gonna do this, I think. One eternity later, we are down here in the switchbacks. It's a little cooler down here, thank goodness. <laughs> it is crazy. Everybody's here for this dang coaster. A second eternity later, and we're finally making it up these stairs, and these switchbacks are completely full. Good lord. It's still going back there. People still coming in. There's a line there for the back seat. Jeez. And we are, I'm here waiting for third car right here. Row number five. Oh, I cannot wait for this. This is like the most hyped ride that I think I've ever had before. Voyage, night ride, trimless. After a very fun-filled 55-hour uh, minute wait, um, yeah, 55 minute. It was, he was tracking it over here. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. By the way, um, wow! I can't believe this thing we call the Voyage is allowed to exist. It's in a completely different category. Done at night. We were in the third car. I was in the fifth row. I just. It's in a different category versus the Raven or the Legend. I think, like, Raven might be my favorite, but then there's this masterful, like, pace, well-paced, insane little, I don't know, it's just like a master class in design, in pacing, in, I, I, I'm still coming to terms with all of, of what I just experienced, collecting myself and trying to figure out what to say to describe that experience. In, we can go through all the words that everybody uses. It was insane, it was crazy, it was nuts, whatever. But in reality, it was just, you were not in control at all of what was happening. You were just there experiencing it. It was pitch black, getting thrown around. It was very long, a lot longer than I thought. It just didn't, does not let up until the very end. And I, I'll tell you, by the end, I was feeling it. I was like, there's still more of this. I cannot believe this. And it's still going because of the way that they use that ravine or valley or whatever. It goes down it and then climbs back up. And then for the second half, you go back down it to come back to the train. It's like, wow. Anyway, I am basically bad. This turned me into just my brain is scrambled and I don't even know what to say. That was ridiculous. Just, I, can, I get it now. I get it, especially, especially trimless. And now I know the camera's been going in and out of focus and all this and we've been walking in the dark, but that's because we still got 30 minutes and we're making a beeline over to the Raven. All right guys, here we go. Last ride of the night. Cause unfortunately they capped the uh, queue for Voyage. Otherwise I definitely would have been on that. All right, we got that last ride on the Raven. Unfortunately, a lot of people that were getting off of the Voyage were getting in line for that, and there's only 10 minutes left in the event. But I will say, this has been a very successful ERT. Even with Thunderbird being closed, this is still... I, I thought that maybe that was gonna impact things, especially with the lines and stuff, and maybe the Voyage would have had less of a line. But, unfortunately, I will not ever know unless I come back next year. And hopefully everything's open that year, but this year. This was amazing. This is my first of these types of events. I've never done anything like this, and a lot of people were telling me that it's gotten busier in previous years. But honestly, I have no basis of comparison. I had a great time, especially hanging out with Corey. That was awesome to that whole group that I was with. Thank you guys so much for letting me tag along and just feed off of all of that crazy good energy that all of you guys had. Cannot wait to hopefully come back next year if I'm lucky enough. But Raven Voyage were by far my favorites. Voyage was just ridiculous and masterful. It's a masterpiece to me. And the Raven is just this like short taste of what you experience on the Voyage in, uh, in a uh, way that I can handle it with my, uh, with my heart being the way it is. It's nice to have like a bite-sized version of it basically. And man, those are easily my two favorites. Gosh, it was an awesome time. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And I hope you go make your own adventure.
Happy Thanksgiving. Bye, y'all.